not enough just to assess a church planter. All you've then told them is that they and those around them will know they might have what it takes to start a church. You need to then equip them with resources and relationships to get the job done. And then we want to unleash them and run alongside them to uh, support them and equip them as they go. The coaching relationship is really key. It provides the vision, the support, gives access to resources and, and, and people that the planner can use and keep them encouraged along the whole way. But then no one coach can do everything. And so being a part of a network of relationships means that uh, planters can draw on a whole range of people who can help them in this really tough work. New Life Anglican Church is a brand new church plant begun a year and a half ago with my associate pastor and our wives. Uh, we're here to reach people who are young families predominantly and also those of retirement age and we're really enjoying seeing the church grow. I've really benefited from the coaching that I've received at Geneva. In essence, it becomes a living Wikipedia of church planning. You get to chat with a guy who's older and wiser, who's walked the path ahead of you, uh, ask the questions that you don't know the answers to that they might understand or have some insight on. In essence, coaching helps us feel like we're not on our own. The, the kind of support that Geneva provides for church planting couples and families is one of the things that really makes me and my wife Nikki excited about Geneva. Having been involved in starting churches without that kind of support, we, we know how painful it can be and how valuable the encouragement, the spiritual strengthening, the friendships can really be. Things such as the Refresh Conference Geneva does every year are just priceless. Uh, Geneva can't do much to actually make sure churches get started all around the country. We're not a church, we're not a denomination. But we can inspire people with a vision of the gospel of Christ being known in the cities and the country and connect people to one another. And I think if that starts to happen, all sorts of things will take place around the country. We've got 22 million people who need to be reached. We want to have churches that can break out and keep growing and growing and be grounded the whole time. This is a huge job and we just really need people to come on board and help us. There's many different ways to help us. One of the simplest ways to give financially uh, is to go to the website and donate, or you can contact us through the website and ask for more information.